And now we have the success story to tell them. So regardless of their perception of this, can this happen? This is the best effort. Blah, blah, blah. We've got the success story. Like actually partnering with the shark and all of the um, players, like there's, this is possible and a success. This is what you have to do. One of the issues that we recognize pretty early on in the community, and we've been talking about this for years, is the fact that you know, economic development and economic growth does not remain in the district with the residents. And you know, development, construction is one, of, is one of those areas where a building gets built, but the people who work on the site, the workers themselves, some of the MWBEs are not from, they're not from the district, they're not even from the Bronx. And so one of our goals is to really bring in those developers and begin to work with them. Um, so that we can make sure that area residents are are playing a vital role in economic development and economic development opportunities here in the district. And so um, in my role as district manager, developers come to us all the time early and often on any number of projects. And uh, Derek Lovett from MBD came to us probably about, I want to say six months ago for a project that is not, you know, even in Euler Brunner construction, but they came to, you know, give us a, a preview of what the project was going to be, where it's going to be located. And I said to him, would you be interested in working with Jark? He said, no problem. Uh, and so that began this conversation and dialogue. And so, you know, I have my colleagues here, my colleague here from Karen Michelle from, um, Merkel from the HOPE program and LaShawn Henry's we're from Urban Strategies. And together we started to talk about um, some other projects that they had and how we, you know, could together as an organization. So um, I don't know if um, Karen Michelle and, and, uh, and LaShawn and Derek, if you want to talk a little bit about how that came about and then, you know, our process kind of getting, you know, and kind of why you, why you wanted to, you know, kind of, you know, raise your hand and say, yes, I want to participate and yes, I'm willing to do this. Well, you know, I, I, so, um, first of all, thank you for uh, inviting me to this. Um, it first started with a conversation. And I think that um, people need to talk. They always say about networking. Networking is not a big thing. It's a conversation. And a lot of times people will have like things happening in their lives and their, their, their profession. And if you don't talk, you don't know how you can connect. So we had that conversation. I just said, I do have a project that's coming through. I did want to make sure that my thoughts and, and uh, uh, um, abilities matched with what the community wanted and needed. And that's why I wanted to make sure that we're going down the, the right path. And that's when, you know, we had the conversation about, you know, uh, jobs. And um, I do have a project right now that's on, uh, on the concourse that's, uh, that's happening as we speak. And they have folks that need uh, jobs, and I said, "Well, let's let's make it happen." So I, I asked uh, Lashawn Henry to join the conversation uh, because she's working with us on this project. She has not only the jobs but also developers that, and you know, and, uh, and then I've worked with the Hope Foundation for for many many years. Um, I hire from them; they have excellent uh, training. I hire maintenance from them. We also have some off, some other projects. Uh, that we needed to have done. And so it was kind of like, it was, it was really low hanging fruit because we've kind of different folks, we just put it together. We, we know each other, you know, six degrees of separation or less. And, um, and so LaShawn had some, some projects and um, but the thing that happened, this was interesting. She had positions, but it was a new type of certification that was needed. And she said, well, I can't find anyone in the Bronx with a certification, so I'm gonna to have to go outside of the Bronx to hire them. I'm like, whoa, no way. And that's when you uh, put together the team and Michelle, we said, all right, wait, who has folks that need to be trained? We all have folks that need jobs. Who have folks that need to be trained? And Rashawn, you said, okay. I said, can you put together the course? You can put together the course. I hold, we had everybody responsible for getting bodies in those seats. And then I committed to paying for the transportation back and forth, paying for the course, giving them a stipend for the day, and making sure they had breakfast and lunch. But the great thing is our partners, our general contractor, our partners is, is our Trinity Financial. That's an absolute win. And Mananak, who is a general contractor, said, not only am I in, I'm paying for it. And so, Lashana and so I'll let you guys speak because I couldn't. But I was just like, "Wow, this is great. This is this is energy that 
that needs to, this is something that needs to happen over and over again. You know, like mind folks putting the energy forward, not accepting no, just, just getting together and, and planning stuff, just making it happen. Right. So yes, hi, I'm LaShawn Henry from Urban Strategies. Thank you for including me in uh, this, this uh, Zoom call. Um, congratulations to Jock on your, your grand opening. Um, and I just wanted to um, say, you know, thank you to everybody. Urban Strategies of New York Incorporated, we're, we are a consultant firm. We specialize in workforce diversity. Um, one of our, one of the industries that we work really, really well in is construction. And we make sure that local and community hires are a big part of that. In fact, that is what we do. We do community hires and local hires, and we've been doing it for many years. Um, like, uh, Derek said, um, Derek had contacted, had contacted me and, um, he got a bunch of, uh, other Bronx organizations together to talk about some of the skill gap that we were that we were seeing on this particular job so I, we were charged with finding Bronx residents who had the skill set um, to meet the subcontractors demand and we needed folks who had all of their OSHA training their SST and also their four and 16 hour scaffolding um, certifications and we have a huge pipeline of folks from all throughout the five boroughs we tap into our partners in every single borough that we work in and we were unable to find anybody in the bronx so when we were having our monthly meeting with mbd i had mentioned that that was you know a concern and you know derek like he said, he said, no way, we're going to find some people in the Bronx. Mm -hmm. And so we, you know, we got together with the Bronx collaboration, Jark and everybody else who was involved. And we made sure that we um, found candidates who were ready and willing to get into that particular um, industry, you know, masonry. And um, we were able to um, have 16 people, eight people completed the course and now we have people who are much very very marketable in this industry and we will be looking to place them you know not only on this Bronx job but other Bronx jobs that are coming up so now we have a so now we continue to create this huge pipeline of eligible candidates who you know did not have the certifications prior but now are marketable and you know this group has been wonderful because of you know the information um they were ready and willing to you know hit the ground with all of their candidates to make sure that they had great candidates who were ready and willing to take this certification you know it's not something that's easy to pass you have to really really be inter interested and um committed um to this work so i just want to thank everybody um for that and I, I look forward to continue working with you guys because you guys you know we all have the same goal is to make sure that you know there's economic development within our communities building strong pipelines so when developers come into our communities they don't have to look outside of our communities to get candidates that are ready willing and able to work so thank you and I would just add um, a couple of things like I'm, you know, my name is Karen Michelle Mirko and I'm a director of employment and graduate services here at the HOPE program and ecstatic um, committee member of both the steering committee of JARC as well as the employment and training um, coalition. And, you know, we, we say we're the Jerome Avenue Revitalization Collaborative and I think this moment is really about how collaboration happens um, mm -hmm. so well. Um, and Derek, you called it low-hanging fruit, um, and God bless you for thinking so, because I, I'm sure, I know for myself, and also I can imagine for you as well, LaShawn, that these conversations don't actually happen. They're like, right. oh, just, you know, just, just find, find anybody. It doesn't have to be from the Bronx. And so that you think, like, oh, it's an easy solution that, you know, but it has to happen that we're hiring yeah. residents that are qualified is, is, 
is, is now like as a model that we can say that we've used this model, this model works. Um, and I was just really excited to be a part of it because in my role on the um, subcommittee, you know, I worked with both the folks that, um, you know, we have the privilege of serving and then all of the other um, nonprofits that do workforce development work, all of their community members, and then opening it up to an even wider community to make sure that they had access to this training. Um, and, you know, this is really an investment, um, you know, certainly in um, providing local residents with local jobs, but this certification itself just automatically promotes people in some ways to the next salary level. This is yes. you no longer have regular skills and regular certifications, you have accelerated um, certifications. And so um, that was what was exciting about this too. And then just the speed with which we did it, it just, mm -hmm. it was head spinning wow. <laughs> how quickly yeah, that it happened. Yeah. It was uh, a yeah. team effort. Yes. It was. Absolutely. Yeah. It just, yeah. and just such really strong partnerships, yeah. you know, just like, you know, LaShawn, I think she was like, you need a class, let's get it tomorrow. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And again, you know, I really, I really, you know, I can't emphasize enough the you know, the, you know, Derek, you talked a little bit about, um, you know, networking and how easy that is. I can't emphasize enough the importance of this, of this relationship and this particular project, because I've worked for the city for 15 years, and there are many requests that go to developers to say, you know, can you hire locally? You know, you put it on paper, but then, you know, the follow through is not really follow through. And so I was, you know, I was so, I'm so impressed, and I think also just grateful to your one that you share, that you, both you and LaShawn share our vision for economic development here, and that you are willing to be a, an active uh, partner. That's really, that speaks volumes, which is why I really want to make sure that we highlighted this um, this relationship, even even that took place even before we actually officially launched um, JAR. Well, thank you, Paul. Yeah. For, for first and foremost, you're the one that put it together. <laughs> you go, you, you, yeah. you said, we're having a meeting, yeah. we're supposed to, going to be there, and I'm like, so need to be there. And there's two things. One, you mentioned that the, the, the experience of what had happened. The reason that was because I got a building on the contract, on, on the construction. It's happening now. I can't wait and say, hey, you know what? Halt construction until we get, no, that, that, it, it, so you have to hurry up and wow. get them ready so that they can go in. I can't stop the process. So we had mm -hmm. to hurry and make it happen. And Paul, uh, Michelle, and, and, and Michonne, and was listening. There, but for the grace of God, go I. We have the ability to change lives. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like giving someone the ability to, to work changes lives. Yes. And it so, we in church again. <laughs> it's, it's important. And so, you can't take that lightly as no, a you can't. developer, as, just as a human being. If you can better someone's life, the quality of someone's life, by all means, you have to make that happen. Yeah. Right. And I mean, one of the things, one of the things that was really important to us is that there were women that were included in this process. And so I believe four women were able to finish this course because for women, this is really a game changer. You know, we, we live in communities where women are, you know, single parent households Absolutely. and they have to carry, you know, most of the load. Yeah. So it is important that, you know, there's opportunities for them to change their family dynamics in, in terms of economics. I just really have to um, really say again, thank you to Manakna Construction Thank you to MBD. Thank yeah. you to Trinity. Um, this has been really a, a, quite an undertaking, but it's, it's, it's so needed and it's, um, we, we have been very successful in it. And this is something that Manaknak, MBD, and Trinity, they continue to do on all of their projects. Local mm -hmm. hiring is very, very important. You know, we have to continue this. Um, we, we just want to make sure that we continue to um, contribute to build these pipelines and to make sure folks from marginalized communities have opportunities. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, one thing that's important, and especially Paula, is you're going to have, you've had developers come in front of you in the past and, and present and they will in the future. Look mm -hmm. at the track record. Um, mm -hmm. I yeah, have, so. have I've had experience with, with Manan Nick and I go back, uh, Limbo, the, the, one of the, 
uh, principles go back many years, and we did a deal with, but not, 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 not again, uh, Gifford Miller from, um, mm -hmm. from uh, Urban Sign Signature. Mm -hmm. And um, they were amazing. Um, they take this to heart. MWBE, local hire, they mm -hmm. take it to heart. And you want to deal with people that take it to heart, not someone that says, well, the, the one thing that I, I don't like is, and someone says, well, we'll, we'll, we'll do best efforts. Mm -mm. Best efforts is yeah. an ability to cop out. Yeah, as soon as you hear that, you're like, you know, you're like, wah, wah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah so exactly. It's like, yes, we will make it happen. And we have wow. make it happen. And this is our track record. Yeah. yeah. And, and on, the, really... yes, on the project, on, grand, on the Grand Concourse, we have had all local hires. All, anybody that came through that part project that was new, they came from the Bronx. No mm -hmm. one else came from any other um, um, borough. It, they're all Bronx residents. And yeah. we have other projects that will be going on in the Bronx and we'll be pulling from our group that got the four hour scaffolding right. and the 16 hour scaffolding yeah. to make sure that they have opportunities. Yeah, I, mean, I think that's, I think that's um, also the beauty of this is that, um, you know, we have a great relationship with Paul and he always brings in the developers, you know, right at the very start or even, you know, even when it's just a, a, a thought, um, development is a thought in the developer's mind. And now we have the success story to tell them. So regardless of their perception of this, can this happen? This is the best effort. Blah, blah, blah. We've got the success story, like actually partnering with the shark and all of the um, players, like there's, this is possible and a success. This is what you have to do. No. It is, and yeah. it's, it's, it's definitely needed. It is needed. Yeah, it, it really is. And I want to just, little Sean, I want to thank you for pointing out uh, the fact that there were four women. It's really important. I think, yes. you know, mm -hmm. we talk about, you know, marginalized and minority communities, but we don't always, yeah. we don't talk about women enough. And you made some right. really good points. And then, uh, you know, finally, I just want, you know, want to say to you guys, you know, thank you for your... <coughs> For your commitment and partnership, and you're you're setting a good example for for your colleagues and your peers in working, mm -hmm. you know, here in the Bronx. And so, um, hopefully, you know, you lead by example, and you guys are walking the walk and talking the talk. So, yes. um, so we're you know we're fortunate, really fortunate to be working with you guys, and we very much look forward, look forward to working with you more in the future. Well, thank it's you. Awesome. It's an absolute pleasure. And I don't think you're going to let us do anything less. <laughs> That's um, right. I'm just, no, you're right. I'm not. I'm not. But, in all serious, but in all seriousness, it really, you know, it really, you know, we've we've had a lot of these, you know, you know, conversations with developers, and I I won't lie, I was really, I mean, I was pleasantly surprised at how receptive you guys were and proactive. I'm like, we're training people. I was like, I was like, oh my goodness. So it really, it really is a testament to uh you you uh you, you as individuals your organizations the companies that you work with and your commitment to um local hire. i just yes. want to say one thing <laughs> mbg is a nonprofit and the fun fact each section of the bronx you know we're doing bronx bronx wide and the people that started before the founders were in a very very drastic situation we've moved forward we're in a position that now we can help others and i'm taking that forward Myself, I was a banker for 25 years. I have, uh, you know, the ability to understand finance. I bring skill sets there. And most importantly, I'm a United States Marine. And so we don't make excuses. We don't accept anything other than making things happen. So by any means necessary, we will make things happen. Yep, yeah. definitely. Great. Well, thank you guys again so much for participating in this. We very much look forward to seeing you guys all at Jark Week next week. Yeah. We're excited. <laughs> yeah. And uh, thank you. And thank you guys again. You're welcome. You're welcome.